Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac. I guess we'll try to do... Oh, you know what? I'd really like to do this Lost Mega Satan run. I'd like to give it a try. It's gonna take some time and that's okay. This is gonna completely fuck up our streak as well. But, um... In case you didn't see the last Lost Mega Satan run, which was, I don't know, like two or three videos ago. My MO here is pretty much, you know, restart until you get something that's worth holding on to. So that's, like, I know you don't have to restart as soon as you get, like, into that curse room. Because you can actually get out of it as the Lost, as long as you have Holy Mantle unlocked. But I figure if we're going to shoot for a Mega Satan run, why not start with a run where we have, you know, an, an item that's good. It doesn't have to be incredible. But just something, uh... Well, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Just something good enough to... Like, something that you'd start a Balls of Steel run with, basically. High damage, high tiers, somehow good defense or something like that. A Joker card that gives us, uh, you know... Uh, I guess it would give us a deal with the devil, but still. Uh, yeah, Epic Fetus is good enough. That'll that'll settle it. <laughs> Here's our seed, FL63V1WB. I'm recording this Isaac episode because we're trying to coordinate to make more... Uh, Rainbow Six Siege episodes. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but it's just, you know, you're in in school. I always, always like, why do we have to do group projects? Someone in the group projects always ends up doing more work than somebody else. Usually me, because I'm a huge dork. Like I'd rather just get all the marks for myself if I if I did all the work. And then I always say, oh, you're gonna have to work in groups when you grow up. You might as well get. To, oh my God, we can't take a black market, but a free crawl space item would be good nonetheless. You might as well get used to working with people, and it turns out that that's true. Even if you find yourself on YouTube, you know. Bear says be back in an hour. Then he uh, ends up being 10 minutes late, so I'm like, fuck it, he's 10 minutes late, I'm gonna go do my own shit for 40 minutes. And Mathis is like, well, if it takes too long, I'm gonna go to bed. What? Epic Fetus and Dr. Fetus? Like, this is what it's like, man. Nobody, myself included, I'm throwing myself under the bus here. Nobody's willing to make the... The sacrifice of like any of their own productivity to make this group work happen and we're just we're eating it man We're gonna get we're all individually talented, but we're gonna get like C minuses on the final because we haven't learned the most valuable lesson of all Teamwork Can't do anything with those spirit hearts. I mean, okay, let's be honest. The run looks great right now. It looks amazing uh, The doctor feed is pickup. I, I assume is meaningless, but um, we're in a great situation nonetheless What needs to happen though is oh, that was Definitely don't die to that. Um, what needs to happen though is we still need to get the key pieces. We don't need to save any bombs anymore because we got epic fetus, but we still need to get the key pieces. So don't accidentally take the uh, any deal that you get from our deal with the devil. Just head down to the next floor. Let me see what the message here is. But then you're gonna go long, and then Mathis will leave. I'm sorry. Got got a schedule to keep. Be back when I'm back. We can do it tomorrow, maybe, or it's a loss. All right. I got this epic fetus lost run. It's unskippable now. Plus, Mathis can go to bed whenever he wants, but it is right now 8:40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's I am the Dunny. I'm not trying to bed shame him. I'm not a bed shamer. But at the same time, I, he can stay up till 9.30 to record some Rainbow Six. I am his mother and I will allow him this privilege. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this. Why not? We can use money. We can use money for things. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. And if all we do is land, like, four epic fetus shots, that should be enough. I don't even know what I need right now. I'm almost thinking that the highest priority for, like... Attribute upgrade I could possibly get would be like a speed upgrade If I could get speed upgrades it makes it more likely I can get out of the way of my own shots It makes it more likely that you know I can dodge enemy shots It makes it more likely that I don't hit myself and that means that we have a, a better chance of, uh, of winning the run I think I'm not gonna break all these pots. There's a certain level of uh, due diligence involved there that I don't aspire to unfortunately didn't mean to break that one to get that spider spawned either. Okay, we have not been hit, but just to be sure, I'll, I'll walk out, walk back in, and then do the curse room. Because I definitely don't want to get hit in here. This is what scares me, is actually going into these curse rooms could cause us a lot of problems. If we go in and get hit by a spider or something, we're just sunk. But no need to get too uh, worked up right now. Like, we're in an amazing situation, so let's not... Uh, 
Oh, I might as well just take it, I guess. Hot bombs, sure. Do these actually work? Yes, they do. That's actually really, really good then. Um, I'll buy both of these just to see what they are. Okay, we definitely can. Remote detonator. It seems like it could synergize, but I bet it probably doesn't. Um, yeah, what I mean by don't get too worked up is, like, I, I, as long as I don't psych myself out, we should easily survive at least the next... Thank you for not being Bob's brain. We should easily survive at least the next two floors, you know, long enough to maybe get a deal with the angel and then start to, you know, hopefully spiral out of control. If we can pick up, like, a, uh, a godhead or a, I don't even know what I'd be looking for at this point. A soul? Soul would be good. Push enemy shots out of the way a little. Remember, we're not taking these. I'm happy we got the uh, upgrade so we could get spun. The syringe, I should say. So we can get spun in the future. This is also a speed upgrade, which is exactly what I was asking for to begin with. And um, I think we got a really good run here. This is like the best possible application of hot bombs. Now what's interesting is I wonder if hot bombs is only working for us because of the fact that we picked up Dr. Fetus. That room was a little scarier than it had to be. I'm also, like I'm going to be real with you, I'm probably going to skip item rooms just because I'm not I'm trying to speed run the game or anything like that but the less rooms we do the less likely we are to take damage and we don't need anything but the key pieces to win this run at this point so I don't feel like there's any necessary like I, I feel like it's probably a greater risk to do more rooms than it is to not do more rooms but uh, we'll find out pretty quickly here how sound that logic is because the angel statue will be the biggest test that we've had so far this will give us a key piece and it certainly seems like we're well on our way to potential success here so I'm going to head down to the next floor. This also gives us a chance at boss rush, which gives us basically a free item of our choice. Don't do that yet. Uh, an Isaac's room is probably a free crawl space, though. And that guy up top will die for sure. Whew, okay, take a deep breath. We can make this one happen. Two black hearts. Totally meaningless. Let's see if we get a crawl space in here. Guppy's collar. This is not going to be a crawl space, obviously. Guppy's collar would be a good pickup. Nine lives would still be a great pickup. We need to be able to make that happen, which is uh, decidedly unlikely right now. But this is looking very, very good so far. I don't know if that's worth it, honestly. Sure, we could get something like Cricket's Head, but I'm a little concerned. I'm actually happy we're on this deal with the Angel stuff right now. Because there's a chance that something like Trinity Shield uh, could be amazing for us. You know, just being able to block all of the, uh, all of the shots from... Uh, Mega Satan? I think would be worth it. By the way, there will be people, I'm sure, who are like, well, why wouldn't you just take Bob's Rotten Head instead of, uh, instead of D4? That's a very valid reason, or a very valid thing to bring up that I, I oftentimes don't consider. I kind of feel like, for an item like Bob's Rotten Head, where I'm never going to use it, or only rarely going to use it productively, it's better to stick the D4 here. We could maybe use it for panicking or something like that. You know, if we if we have to do a panic reroll in a room in which we're absolutely fucked if we don't, then that's better than just, uh, you know, taking Bob's Rotten Head and never using it. Or even worse, taking Bob's Rotten Head, using it and hurting ourselves. But, I mean, the thing about Bob's Rotten Head right now is that it's actually worse than our individual tiers. So, I don't know if, uh, if, if it would make a difference. Let's put it this way. The amount of conversation that we've had regarding Bob's Rotten Head is probably more than it warrants. More than we would have actually talked about it if we had picked it up. So that was actually the first time that we've been hit at all. Uh, so I got a little a little frightened on that room, but life's still going just fine here. Sad Onion, I'm not sure if it actually helps us out that much as uh, or with Epic Fetus, but let's be honest, Epic Fetus is as close to a transformation as a single item can do for you. So as Epic Fetus doesn't seem completely invalid of a way to speak here. Good. Good. These rooms are no challenge. Rooms where enemies rush us down, end fire shots, or, you know, could explode right next to us. Those are the rooms I'm going to be worried about right now. But apart from that, I'm feeling real, real good. And we're actually, you know, if we get super... Oh, that was dangerous. Not just dangerous, but stupid. If we get super lucky, we might be able to find uh, a, our second key piece, like, right away. And if we do so... I'm taking a lot more damage than I'm happy with here. If we do find our second key piece right away, we can uh, start doing deals with the angel. This is actually great. The red poop is saving my life. Never thought I'd say that sentence. No deal with the angel. That's okay. We wouldn't have expected it here. Cat of Nine Tails for extra damage, assuming it works. I'm happy. Getting a little tense. 
Take a deep breath. Necropolis XL at seven minutes is pretty ridiculous. Ooh, just just slow it down. We don't have to be this fast. We, sh we probably should check both item rooms here. We should also blow up as many skulls as possible. You know, if we can get a chance at getting a... Uh, at getting a teleport card, you never know. Nod Leaf could show up on our uh, item room or something like that. Even if it's just an okay item on our item room. Well worth it. Got pretty lucky with hot bombs there, killing that one spider. And we're still good to go here. Like I said... Oh my god, I was gonna say, like I said, those rooms don't worry too much. Followed by a room that worried me immensely. Uh, I actually feel like scissors, making sure to cut uh, troll bombs that might show up. That seems like a pretty lost friendly pickup. Bad gas, uh, meaningless pill at this point. Normally, uh, Epic Fetus, not that amazing against Fistula Teratoma. Uh, not any more amazing than just having high damage by itself, I guess. But uh, the fact that we have hot bombs, we can kind of create like a Fortress of Fire here. Also a dope name for like a high school metal band. Um, that, that could work out very nicely for us. This is a room full of skulls. I will be interested to potentially get a teleport card here. Wouldn't it be great if I died to these guys on this room? Like, enemies that I created myself? It's just the perfect metaphor. Okay. Plenty of keys. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, I w this is uh, the one where I'm probably not going to do the hush fight just for fun. Uh, that, that was kind of a, a luxury we had last time. I say luxury, but it was really because we just didn't have any other uh, opportunities to get key pieces. We might as well have gone down to try to get the, the dad's key pickup, but um, now I've got to be a little bit more serious. Even though it's only been a 10 minute long run, this one, you know, it has the potential to be something very, very special here. So let's do more exploration as we try to find, well, I mean, the shop and both item rooms. Wouldn't mind getting the library or something like that. Surprised we didn't get hit there. These are the rooms that, that are going to cause us some problems. You know, rooms where there's lots of enemies and they create kind of a matrix of stuff that we have to dodge. Oh, I think Kate might have just died. <laughs> On whatever run she was doing. I just heard a big what come from the other room during her stream. Uh, okay, that didn't hit because it's a bomb-proof uh, area, of course. Might as well get this. Uh, you know, spend a key, get a key and a penny. Okay, trade in my eyes. Enemies that charge us, going to be a little dangerous too. Where's my teleport card? I feel like we used to have some like better luck getting teleport cards. Obviously, we'll go back for this as well. I just wanted to make sure that thing got despawned. The One of the things that could kill us as well is if I'm a complete idiot, which people are like, okay, so far so good. <laughs> but if I'm a complete idiot and I, uh, on a Curse of the Maze floor, end up hitting myself... Or not hitting myself, sorry, but like thinking I'm going into the boss room, pressing the space bar to try to skip the cutscene, and then re-rolling my whole run. That would actually be kind of hilarious. I bought the Two of Hearts card thinking, like, obviously it might be the Joker or something. Uh, it wasn't, in case you uh, missed that part of the arrangement. That's okay. Uh, also picked up Mom's Purse in case we can get a second trinket. That's also good. It, it's weird because I know we have Holy Mantle, but I would like a little bit more insurance before the mom fight. Like, if I, if I could get a second Holy Mantle somehow and have it work in the way that I know it doesn't, <laughs> then that would be great. Because I could get hit twice on the mom fight. I guess that's the thrill of the Lost. You could get hit twice on any run, right? The thrill of the new Lost, I guess. We got it, we got it. Okay, thank you, and you're gonna give me a teleport card. Okay, just like I anticipated. Scary room. I'm the world's greatest man. That could have gone terribly. In fact, it might be good to hold a teleport card just for situations like that. Oh, this could be spun. Little dangerous. Teleport. To be honest with you, the two of hearts is basically effectively worthless, so I don't mind losing that. Now, we know there's a telepills that exists. Also, I know you be loving this shit right here. L-I-M-P. Bizkit is right here. People in the comments, throw your hands in the air, because if you don't care, uh, then we don't care. I don't remember many of the rest of the lyrics. 
he lied. Okay, this floor has been a lot better. We haven't really found ourselves under the gun too much here. If it goes south, I can't yet be proud of this run. We haven't made something out of nothing yet. Still need that, that certain je ne sais quoi. We've got both item rooms down here. Ooh, at least they're close together. Maybe we should get the dimes. You never know, money equals power could show up, something like that. No turret, thank you. Oh, it's a Hierophon. That's normally good. I went through a wide range of emotions very quickly there. It's not a teleport card, though, which is what we were most interested in. Wish I hadn't done that, but we should still be able to get through this. Okay, Scatter Bombs was the wrong pickup here. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, that's good. Scatter Bombs is totally fine, then. The Chariot is better than Hierophon for us, because we can actually use it. Undefined allows us to teleport. Actually seems... Okay, how did this thing break? Let's be real here. Probably Ghost Baby shot it, I guess. Um, actually seems very viable for us. If we take damage on a room where we're scared that we might take damage again, we could teleport out and save ourselves from, uh, from disaster. I just don't want to accidentally like teleport out of uh, teleport into the error room instead of fighting mom or something. But for now, this seems fine. I'll take the Polaroid, of course, because we can get extra items on the chest. I mean, uh, literally, you can get extra items on the dark room. It's just less likely. Um, keep moving on here. Yeah, the hot bombs are going to be good enough. Good, 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 good. I don't want to teleport out of this fight if I can avoid it. Even if I could just get Mom to sit on the fire. <laughs> it could be worse. I really don't want to teleport out of this room in case we end up finding ourselves uh, inside the error room. That's the big problem for me. Okay, one more hit. Good. Deal with the devil? Can't take it. Well, we can take these. Thank you. I was like, where's my fuse cutters at? We can look at our, our boss rush. Man, unicorn stump seems pretty good, but I think our teleportation is what we need right now. I know we can unicorn stump every wave, but we don't have any contact damage, I think. And also, uh, I worry that we'd still get hit. I think this is okay. Now, we can't really afford to error room on this floor, either. Gotta watch out for these uh, rocks that could explode on us. We gotta watch out for the error room, as well. Um, because we still need to get into the deal with the angel. If we don't get a deal with the angel on this one, I don't know, man. What do you do? Just... Wait until you get Eden's blessing on another character, quit the run, and then start with the loss, and hope that you start with Dad's key. Is that what we're, we're gunning for here? I can't believe I got deal with the devil after having a single key piece anyway. Like, I didn't even think that was... Well, I didn't think it was likely. I know it's possible, but... Hopefully this isn't an XL floor. It's not an XL floor. Beautiful. Temperance does nothing. High Priestess does nothing. Chariot gets us out of a real bad spot, potentially. So we're going to hold that. I'm not going to use the Chariot as like a, you know, a joke, like novelty card. You know, the kind of birthday card you get from Hallmark where when you open it up, you you fart on somebody or something like that. We're going to be using this as like a, you know, a, a point of last resort or a, a, an exercise of last resort. We could teleport out of that room, but again, if I find myself in an error room... It's a real problem. Figure we might as well blow up one of those rocks just to just to keep ourselves honest here, just to save ourselves as much trouble as possible. I don't think I got hit there. Yeah, we're fine. Alrighty. Just stay involved here. Keep your head in the game. I mean, it's not like 
It's not as tense as your normal Lost Run, you know, pre-Holy Mantle. Where you'd just be like, oh shit. We're on the womb on an Epic Fetus Lost Run, but one slip-up could cost us. This is like... It's a hundred times easier. But it's still, it's got its own, you know, unique difficulties. We are going to have a, a crack at Mega Satan. Now, the Wafer, not necessarily the ideal pickup. You know what this is, though? Is the ideal room for the Chariot card. No! Oh, 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 I can't believe it. We didn't even get close to killing it. I got hit right off the bat. Then I got hit by, like, a bomb or something. And then the Chariot card didn't quite carry me the rest of the way. That's so disappointing. Thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed it. Our journey continues. There's some irony in that I thought the thing that killed me was holding me back. I'll see you next time. I'm sorry.